Okay, earlier on we mentioned the identity matrix and we're going to be looking at matrix multiplication involving I, the identity matrix. So it's got that leading diagonal of ones and we want to think about what happens when we do some of these multiplications. What happens if we do the identity matrix multiplied by this or this multiplied by the identity matrix? So we would start with the one times the three, which is the three, and then the zero times the one, nothing goes there. So you just get a three. Then I'm going to do this times this. So you just get the one times two, which is going to give me a two and then a zero. For the next part, I'm going to do this times this. We get the zero and then we get a one. And then we're going to have the zero here. And we're also going to have the zero over here. So we end up with this answer. Let's just quickly do it the other way around as well. So if we do the 3, 2 times the 2, 1, we're just going to get a 3. You can probably see what's going to happen here. Then for the next element, we're going to get a 2. The next element, you can check this, you get a 1. And for the final element, you get a 0. So I'm hoping what you've spotted here is that this matrix remains the same. And this matrix remains the same here. So what I've written is that in general, AI is equal to IA, which is equal to A for all matrices A, or all square matrices that it would be able to, to multiply with. So this is I, this is A, and you'll notice it's equal to A. This is A, this is I, and it's equal to A. So what I've written here is that the identity matrix, therefore, is a bit like the one of matrix multiplication. Because if you do one times three or three times one, you get three. In other words, multiplying by one has no effect. And multiplying by I also has no effect. Multiplying by the identity matrix has no effect at all. So for this reason, one is known as the identity of multiplication over numbers, because when you multiply things by one, it doesn't change them. Zero is known as the identity of addition over numbers, because when you add zero to things, it doesn't change them at all. So identity really is actually saying where the something that doesn't change um, something. But for matrices, this is what the identity looks like. It isn't one, it isn't zero. It's a particular array. It's a particular um, structure of a, of a matrix. The other thing I wanted to talk about was matrix multiplication. And I wanted to decide whether matrix multiplication is commutative or non-commutative. Well, I should probably explain what that means. So multiplication is normally commutative because three times six is 18 and 6 times 3 is also equal to 18. So commutative means that the order doesn't matter. Whereas if something is non-commutative, the order does matter. So let's quickly work out these ones that we've got here. Let's do A, B. So we're going to do 7, 3, 1, 2, and we're going to multiply that by 5, 2, 0, 3. So I've got 35, um, I've got 35 and the zero there, which is just 35. I've then got 14 minus nine, uh, which is five. I hope I don't make a mistake here. Then I've got the five times the zero, which is just, sorry, the five add the zero, which is just zero. I've then got the two minus six, which is minus four. Okay, let's do B, A, let's do them the other way around. Let's do five, two, zero, three. And let's multiply it by 7, 3, 1, 2. So we're going to have the 5 times 7, which is 35, and the 2 times 1, which is 37, when you add that on. So it's already not the same. We do this times this. So that's the 15 and the 4, which is 19. I've then got the 0 and the minus 3. And then I've got the 0 and the minus 6. So clearly here, what we've noticed is that the answers are different. So the answers here are different. What this means is that AB does not equal BA. Now, this isn't always going to be true. There may be some cases where AB does equal BA. But in general, this is not going to be true. So this tells us that matrix multiplication is non-commutative. In other words, the order matters. So the order matters. And that's going to be really, really important for later on. Of course, there may be some scenarios where you do end up with these two things being equal to each other, but they are the exception. They are not the rule. I also wanted to say another little note that matrix multiplication is associative. 
This means that when you're doing matrix multiplication, if you have brackets here, meaning do B multiplied by C first of all, and then you multiply it by A, it's the same thing as doing A multiplied by B and then multiplying it by C. It's, it's a bit like an example like this, that if you were going to do 3 times 2 times 4, which is, let's do this bit first, let's do the 2 times 4, which is 8. 3 times 8 is 24. It's a bit like if you're doing 3 times 2 times 4 and you do the 3 times 2 first, where you get 6 times 4, which is 24. So this is multiplication and it's associative. Matrix multiplication is also associative. So as long as they're in the same order, you can do the B times C first or you can do the A times B first and it will still give you the same answer. So that's everything you need to know for um, exercise 6B. Um, good luck with doing those questions.